Hello everyone, welcome to KK Human Anatomy and Physiology videos, a platform where you will get interesting facts about human anatomy and physiology. Let's reveal interesting topic about our body. In this video, we are going to discuss about types of bones. We all know that in addition to giving support, skeleton also gives proper shape and structure to our body. Have you ever thought how bones actually look like? Bones are classified on the basis of their structure. Let me tell you in simple way. Our body has five different types of bones. They are long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones and sesamoid bones. If we talk about long bones, they are those that are longer than they are wide. Long bones are mostly located in the appendicular skeleton and includes bones in the upper limbs that is bones of arms and hands and lower limbs that is bones of legs and feet. Since they are long they give support to the body and also involve in production of blood cells as they contain bone marrow. If we talk about short bones then they are about as long as they are wide. They are located in the wrist and ankle joints and their function is to provide stability and some movement. Flat bones are somewhat flattened. Flat bones are found in the skull, the thoracic cage and in the pelvis. The function of flat bones is to protect internal organs such as the brain, heart and pelvic organs and can provide protection like a shield. Flat bones can also provide large areas of attachment for muscles. Irregular bones vary in shape and structure and therefore do not fit into any other category. They often have a fairly complex shape. They are present in the vertebral column and in the skull. They protect internal organs, for example, the bones in vertebral column called vertebrae protect the spinal cord. The irregular bones of the pelvis protect organs in the pelvic cavity. Sesamoid bones are bones embedded in tendons. These small round bones are commonly found in the tendons of the hands, knees and feet. Sesamoid bones function to protect tendons from stress and wear. Now let's see the location of different types of bones in our body. So let's start with the long bones. As discussed earlier, long bones are found in arms, hands, legs and feet. Let's start with the long bones of arms. Your arm is made up of three bones. They are humerus, radius and ulna. The humerus is the bone in your upper arm. It is located between your elbow and your shoulder and consists of several parts that allow it to move freely in different directions. Humerus is the longest bone in your arm. Your humerus has two important functions. These are movement and support. In addition to being crucial for various arm movements, your humerus is also important for support. For example, the parts of the humerus serve as a connection point for muscles in your shoulder and arm. The radius and ulna are the bones of the forearm. The radius bone supports the lateral side means it is present on the side of your thumb of the forearm. And the ulna bone supports the medial side means it is present on the side of your little finger as shown in figure. When we talk about the long bones of hands, there are two types of long bones in our hand. They are metacarpals and phalanges. Metacarpal bones are analogous to metatarsal bones in the foot. There are Three types of phalanges, proximal phalanges, intermediate phalanges and distal phalanges. Long bones of legs includes three types of bones. They are femur, tibia, 
and fibula. The femur is the only bone in the thigh and the longest bone in the body. It acts as the site of origin and attachment of many muscles and ligaments. The tibia, also known as a shin bone, is the larger, stronger and anterior that is inner bone of the two bones of the lower leg below the knee joint. Fibula, also known as a calf bone, is thinner compared to the tibia and present on lateral side of tibia below the kneecap. These bones are hard, dense bones that provide strength, structure and mobility. Moving onwards, long bones of feet include two types of bones. They are phalanges and metatarsals. The foot contains five metatarsals. They are numbered in Roman numericals from 1 to 5. Metatarsal bones are analogous to metacarpals in hand. Phalanges are the bones of toes. They are further divided as proximal, intermediate and distal phalanges. Long bones of pectoral girdle or shoulder girdle include clavicles which are also called as collar bones. It is slender S-shaped bone approximately 6 inches. The clavicle is the only long bone in the body that lies horizontally. Then comes another type of bone that is short bone. It includes two types of bones. They are carpals and tarsals. Carpals are present in the wrist whereas tarsals are present in the ankle. These short bones provide stability and some movement. The third type is flat bone. Frontal, parietal, occipital bone which are part of cranial bones and lacrimal, nasal and vomer bone which are facial bones are flat bones in the skull. Ribs and sternum in the thoracic cage are also flat bone. Hip bone of pelvic girdle in pelvis region is also an example of flat bone. From their location, you can say that they protect important organs in our body like ribs and sternum. Protects heart and lungs, whereas flat bones in the skull protect the brain. The fourth type is irregular bones. Bones of vertebral column and some skull bones are irregular in shape. Hence, they are classified as irregular bone. All bones of vertebral column are irregular in shape. A sacrum and a coccyx, which is referred to as a tailbone, is also irregular bone. Irregular bones of the skull includes temporal bone, sphenoid bone and ethmoid bone. These three bones are part of cranial bones and zygomatic, maxilla, mandible, inferior nasal concha and platine bone which are part of facial bones are included in irregular bone type. The fifth type is schismoid bone. These bones are embedded within tendons. These small round bones are commonly found in the tendons of the hands, knees and feet. Schismoid bones function to protect tendons from stress and wear. The patella commonly referred to as a kneecap is an example of schismoid bone. Here comes the summary of our lecture. In this lecture, we discussed that bones are classified on the basis of their structure. Based on their structure, our body has five different types of bones. They are long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones 
and sesamoid bones. We have covered all the bones included in these five categories. Now let's talk about some important fun facts about bones. Babies are born with 300 bones. Adults will end up with only 206 bones. But babies are born with almost 100 more. It's not because that bones disappear as we grow older. Instead, these tiny bones fuse together to form the larger bones of the skeletal system. The longest bone in the body is in your leg, the femur, which runs from your hip to your knee, is the longest and largest bone in your body. It is also the strongest bone. Just think of all the weight that bone handles in a day. No wonder it's so strong. One bone that is not attached to any other bone is the hyoid bone, which is in your throat, is the only bone that doesn't connect to a joint. The hyoid is responsible for holding your tongue in place. The smallest bone in the body is in your ear, the stapes. A bone in your inner ear is the smallest of all your bones. This bone is also sometimes called the stririp because of its Y shape. Bones are natural healers. When you fracture a bone, your body will go to work producing new bone cells and helping heal the break. More than half of your bones are in your hands and feet. You have 206 bones in total and 106 of them are in your hands and feet. Hope you understood well. In my next upcoming video, I will give you interesting anatomy and physiological facts of human body. If you like this video, then do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Do like, comment and share this video. For more updates, join the forum and group. Visit my Facebook page for more information. I have provided the link in description below. Have a happy learning.